Hello and welcome to another one of Enil Shade's Blender Tutorials. It has been a while since I've done another uh, I've done a tutorial, I'm sorry. So, what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is recording game physics to IPO. IPO is keyframes with more control. It, uh, I'll show you about it later, or you could just check out my keyframe tutorial on my channel. I explain it there. So, what we're going to do is uh, keep our default cube, yay for it. Just uh, either use the manipulator with the movement, just move it up some, or you can just press G and Z to move it up some. G is movement, Z is for the Z axis, and if you notice that your uh, 3D manipulator does not look like mine, 3D manipulator is this thing, then all you have to do to make it look like mine is press control and space, and then press combo. That will make it look exactly like mine. So then what you do is press space to add and add a plane. Push your mouse somewhere near it and press the S button to scale and drag away and drag away and drag away. Oh look we have a floor. Yay for us. Next what you do is right click the cube, press bounds to give it a bounds of a box so it has proper collisions and turn it to a rigid body. This is under the physics. The logic it's the thing that looks like a Pac-Man. You go under there and you can turn on physics and stuff. This bottom plane, do not do anything to static. Just press bounds and turn it to a box bounds. So that's the default. So now it'll have proper collisions. If we were to press P right now to go into our game, the, the cube would just lamely fall. So what you do is you see this ring around the object, this orange one. It's always oriented toward the view. You can rotate the, the, uh, rotate the object with it. So just rotate it some along there. Press P. And you have much more interesting collisions. Now, to record this to IPO, you go up onto the main bar up at the top where everything is shown and press Game. Record Game Physics to IPO. Turn that on. And now it will record anything that happens in the physics other than static body movements to the IPO editor. So now what you do is you just press P again and you watch your object fall. And it has been recorded for you to IPO. To go to the IPO, you probably just have to go to your animation window. Mine is called, well, I could just go to the animation window. This is the IPO editor here along the side. You select your cube, and you can see all your wonderful IPO stuff. Now, if you were to watch this animation, it goes really slowly. And that's because Blender Game Physics starts at 60 frames per second, and this playback is at 30 frames per second. So what you do is you go over to the IPO editor, press A to select all the points, press S to scale, X to do it just on the x-axis, and press 0.5. And now you'll notice um, if you were to press Alt A to watch the animation, it doesn't move until quite a while. So what you do is you go back over the iPod editor, press N for transform properties, and the X min has to go to 1, the first frame. It just moves it. The X max also moves along, it's a very useful tool. Press A to deselect all points, and now you can watch it again, and it actually falls pretty darn well now. So now you have your iPod physics, and if you have lots and lots of objects falling and everything, you don't want to painfully do this for every object. Just go to your renders options and turn uh, the FPS up to 60, and it'll work just fine. I've done it before. This way also works, and um, if you have any questions about how the iPod editor works or anything, go check out my tutorial on my channel about keyframes, which is this thing and this thing, the IPO editor and the keyframe editor. They both do almost the same thing. Just watch my tutorial and you'll get explanations on both of them. I hope this was I was able to teach you something about Blender and I will see you next tutorial.